polynomial functions. A cubic function f of x has zeros of minus 3 and 1. The root 1 has a multiplicity of 2 and p of 0 equals to 12 determine the function p of x. So what we are given here is two zeros. So first zero is at minus three and then we have another zero at one. Now we are also given a cubic function. So f of x is a cubic function. So f of x has degree of three, right? Root one has multiplicity of two. So one has multiplicity of two. So this has multiplicity of one, correct? So that is how it is. And then we are given that, well, polynomial p. Let me make this as p. So p of 0 is equals to 12, right? So we can use only one term. We'll use p of x. <coughs> okay. p of 0 equals to 12 means that the y-intercept is at 12, right? So that is the y-intercept. So coordinate points are 0 and 12. So we are given this. That should help us to specifically find a cubic function, right? So we can write the cubic function, the polynomial for us, is equals to a times first zero, let us say, is at minus 3. So the factor is x plus 3. That gives us a zero. Multiplicity is 1, so this order is 1. Now the second zero is at 1. That means x minus 1 with multiplicity of 2. So two zeros at x minus 1. Now we are given that p of 0 is 12. That means if I write 0 here, then p of 0 will be 12. So I get 12 equals to a times 0 plus 3 times x minus 1 whole square. So we get 12 equals to, this is positive 1, well, x is 0. So we are substituting x equals to 0, right? So we get 3 times 1, which is 3. So it is 3a and 12 divided by 3 will be the value of a. So 12 divided by 3 is indeed 4. So a is 4 for us. So we can write on our function that the polynomial is 4 times x plus 3 times x minus 1 whole square. So that is how we can get the polynomial function. I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? So start with so start with the function zeros, take care of the multiplicities that gives you the order of the polynomial which is 3, so 2 plus 1 is 3. Find the value of a with the help of y-intercept given to you. I hope that helps. Thank you.